It's like these are about 14 inches tall. No, maybe not that big. Dude, I could be fucking 14 inches tall right now. I have no idea, dude. Honestly, like, if someone asked me sizes, like, what is what is size? Like, what is anything? That's where I'm at. It's pretty cool. Well now, what's up everybody? Welcome to episode 144 of the podcast. Today, we got a few different fun pieces on the table, some big nails, and um, some big news over here too as well. Um, but first, we got to get a quick dab in before we start this out, make sure that we're no way to have monetization happen, make sure that I do something wrong right away, break the rules, and smoke some hash. But... Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, bmsclass.com. Uh, we have a clear pre-sale coming up next weekend. Um, we haven't done a clear pre-sale yet this year. Um, we've only dropped a little bit of clear in stores. So um, sign up for that if you're looking for a clear piece because we really haven't dropped much clear this year. It's been a lot of full color stuff. And uh, also too right now, we have a fabricator that's working on stainless steel metal stands for the dry pieces so that they can be displayed like chilling in a stand. And also like warm it up in a stand and everything so it holds the piece for you. Um, next drop we'll probably have some stands with the pieces and I might even offer some stands on there for people that already currently have pieces. So we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out how we'll fit, you know, pieces that have already been made. So we're kind of making the stands for specific pieces, but we'll figure it out. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> oh man, whoa. Oh, oh, dry dabs. They are absolutely a character building exercise. If you're, you want to build discipline, you want to have structure in your life, you know, purpose, <laughs> work hard, you need to take some dry dabs. <coughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh, man, and just, like, hitting one of those pipes like that, too, with the square mouthpiece, just puffing on it, dude, and as if it's not the strongest shit ever, you know, just puffing on it, it's like a little tobacco, or, like, you know, just a little regular pipe, but really, it's, like, the strongest hash <coughs> ever. <coughs> oh, my God. <coughs> oh, holy cow. Wow. I don't think that was the first dab of the day. Absolutely wasn't, but it was my first dab since getting back from the gym. Because I'll be coming in here at 4 in the morning, work for a few hours, then go to the gym, then come back. Oh my god, dude, that was crazy. And it, it wasn't like hot, but it was definitely on the warmer side. Like, it like melted the whole dab. Still tasted good though. But holy fuck, I got the whole dab. <coughs> oh my god. Oh man, we're so... Oh my god, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to talk right now. This is crazy. Um, so... We're almost to uh, April, almost to 420. Made it through the kind of those dark, cold months. It's starting to get a little nicer here in Colorado, which means we're getting closer to uh, doing our next Patreon event here at the studio. I don't think we're going to do it around 710. <coughs> I might do it for a little bit longer than last time. Maybe start a hair earlier in the day. Um, and we uh, maybe, Damon said yes to our. Our, uh, we've, we've made an offer on the unit next door to us here. And if they accept it, then we'll double the size of the studio, which means we'll have more room for activities. See, you know, everything I'm listening to right now is basically telling me the world is ending. But then I'm like, but what if, you know, while all these major companies are consolidating or laying people off or spending less to make sure that they're whatever, I'm like, what if we just... Put more money into making pipes, you know? Fuck. But I want more room because I need a whole cold working room. I need an area to pull furnace, pull tubing. Come on. We need space. <coughs> <coughs> and <coughs> I'm like, fuck it. Let's go for it. So if they do accept our offer, then we might even have a lot more space for our event uh, come 710. You know, like a, a 
it would just be so sick. And I would take out part of the wall and stuff and just make the studio bigger overall. And the boss lady could have an office here. Be sick. But yeah, that's something we're working on. We hope it happens. We're like, but at the same time, it's kind of scary to take on like a new bill, a new, like, you know, pay for more stuff. Like, but it's like, if people keep coming out and supporting, I just will put everything right back into the business. That's what I just keep doing. So like this last Sunday sale was like the fastest sellout we've had in a minute. <coughs> like <coughs> within seven minutes, everything was gone. I was like, holy fuck. That was awesome. And it wasn't like a huge drop, but like to sell anything, like when you're like making something with your hands and like putting it out there, like to sell anything that you made, you're like, fuck yeah, dude. It's like a good feeling. But to be able to sell out was like, really fucking sick and uh and just how quickly it happened you know it wasn't like trickling out throughout the day or take a couple of days it was like boom done and done i was like fuck that's crazy but yeah it was awesome super grateful for that and really excited for the clear drop because there's a lot of people that haven't been able to get clear or uh because like the stuff we've sent to the shops too they just only have like one or two of each design so if like one person wanted the 14 mil double well that's already sold you know what i mean so with the clear pre-sale we'll be able to offer like more than just one um, but yeah, I'm stoked to do that and fucking just can't believe April's already here, guys. It's fucking crazy. It's fucking so nuts. I mean, we're filming this right now in March, but by the time this comes out, it'll be April, right, Aja? Yeah. No, not yet. Oh, I don't know fucking anything, dude. But either way, I'm in the future right now, guys. Welcome. It's looking good over here. Don't worry. We're going to be fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah, but. A lot of big projects, and I'm just stoked the weather's getting nicer now because sometimes when it's, like, fucking cold and dark, like, when you get to work early as fuck, it's, like, extra hard to get, like, going, like, when it, the sun isn't coming up or it's just gray out. Yeah, it's just it's just getting nicer. And also some huge changes here at Bear Mountain. One of my guys that's been with me for five years is actually moving out of the state. He's going back home to be with his family. And, like, you know, when people are getting older, parents, grandparents, you know, like... It's the move, so we fully support our 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 dog, and he's uh we're gonna miss him though. It's crazy, so many changes from the team getting smaller to the space expanding, and like I have like a list of people that would like want to work, but like I feel like we're all at the, on the team here, kind of like oh man, like we're we're happy for someone that they're gonna like go do what they want to do and be with family, but we're also kind of like bummed like oh the team's getting smaller, things are changing, so you know it's weird, it's like bittersweet kind of thing, you know like you're happy for someone but you're also like fuck dude it's gonna it's gonna be weird so i think the boss lady's gonna be over here helping a little bit more to pick up slack and stuff because we're we're gonna bring someone new on this year but we're, the team and i aren't quite ready yet we're still trying to just figure out how to walk ourselves you know i don't want to bring someone else into the equation and it's like holy fuck this is crazy how are you guys how's this boat not sinking and you're like well we all got buckets we keep throwing the water out of it and it's like that's what we're doing right now so it's not that we're doing bad but it's like this shit's crazy like Trying to be glass blowers, do the art thing, make pipe. Not only that, but like be making pipes, like the internet, Instagram. All these things are becoming less and less friendly again to the cannabis and marijuana stuff. Like that new bill that they're trying to pass here in the state of Colorado, where social media apps will basically it will be like illegal to post marijuana or illegal content <coughs> on apps, and I'm like. I'm like, how does they? How do they even have time to write up this whole thing? There's so many other problems. Like, I'm like, like, is that really the biggest problem? And I think one of the issues is they're trying to tackle is people selling illegal drugs on the internet. But how are they going to decipher someone who's like a medical marijuana user that's like using a piece of glass and then also selling glass? Like, how are they going to decipher that without like? So yeah, if that shit goes through and if. And honestly, what's going to happen to the internet over the next two years, things are really going to get pretty different. So, like, it might be really hard to share pipe-related or weed-related content. It might change for a bit. This doesn't mean it's forever, but it might be hard. Like, I think we'll still be able to upload stuff, but I think what's going to happen is platforms won't, like, support the content or something. Like, it'll be, like, weird. You know, I'm not really sure what it's going to look like. I just have a feeling that something like that's kind of coming down the line. Um, like anything, in the beginning, you can have a lot of fun with it. Beginning of Instagram, dude, people were just doing so much crazy shit on it. Like, the early days of any of these apps are wild, and then all of a sudden they get more and more regulated, and then they become not the same app and not as fun and don't work as well. 
Like, literally, like, I can't stand Instagram lately, dude. Like, I like the stuff I like on there, but, like, half the time when I open, like, the Explore page, it's, like, stuff I'm not even looking up. It's, like, I feel like I'm seeing, like, animals, like, looking scared or maybe getting hurt or something. Like, I don't like that, dude. It fucking bums me the fuck out. I'm, like, no, I don't want to open the app. I'm, like, if I see another, like, deer get hit by a car or something or, like, not that I'm, like, a baby or whatever, but, like, i much rather see, like, like, fictional things i don't want to actually see you know things getting hurt but that's life i guess i don't know what it is my personal trainer is convinced that the ai has already become sentient but it what it's doing it's like living through algorithms and it's like using algorithms to basically mess with the psyche of like everyone around the world making people think that there's more bad things happening than there really are and like trying to convince people that like things are really bad or you know, people don't like them or like, oh, I or convincing people to think a certain way. And it's all through like an AI algorithm that like they don't have control of. And the companies have kind of admitted it that are, are, are have these large social media platforms. They're like, yeah, we don't really know how the AI is picking and choosing certain things. We just, we like implemented it and it kind of just ran free in there. Um, so yeah, but that's some real like who gives a fuck shit, right? Go fly a kite, dude. Go to a fucking movie. Who cares? It's the internet, right? It's funny how many small businesses, though, now rely on the internet for their advertising or at least getting people to see what they're trying to do. It's wild. I was taking dabs this morning on this fucking Nano with this foot, like, foot long. I'm going to take a dab here in a minute on it. Or still a little hash in there. Whatever, dude. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like, I'm going to take a dab in a minute on that. It's so fun, honestly. Like, that long, like literally 12 inches of quartz, the pillar just keeps climbing to the top as you're hitting it. And it just keeps hitting fresh quartz and vaporizing. And it's like, a whole dab in like one breath. Fucking sick. And with the tiny ass piece, it's like all such minimal effort. And you have so much control of the pillar climbing. It's a fun one. Want to do the dab of that? I'll probably make sure that I'm like holding it in a way where you can really see the pillar. Because you know what the RBR does. It does the water spinnies. But it's pretty cool to watch that now function. But man, that dry dab, you know, that might have been the one to finish the podcast. Because let me tell you, the way I feel right now, I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. But I'm excited. So this year too, like besides that, we've also been doing our in-store drops and stuff. And man, I just I just feel like I'm seeing so many big like changes in the industry too. Like the shit, like there's people that like fucked with me a bunch back in the day that are now like I feel like people are starting to notice. Okay, for example, there's a head shop out there. And we'll just call him fucking... We'll call him Galaxy Bus. How about that? And, um, yeah, I have a history with them. And I'm seeing like them do similar things to other artists, like having their work manufactured in other countries for less and then selling it at mass and trying to, like, I'm not sure if they're trying to trick people or what the deal is. I'm, I'm not sure anyone's intent. And I don't want to assume anyone's intent either. It's just business, right? But at the end of the day, like, our industry is so small and fragile that, like, unless there's, like, this collective effort to support each other and bring it all up together, it's very difficult for this thing to, you know, exist in a way where people can have a consistency, where they can have a family, they can have people that rely on them, they can have responsibilities. Like, if one day, like, every shop that has been making orders from you for 20 years just stops making orders, you're like, what the fuck? Like, every January for the last 10 years, these people have made an order. Why are they not making an order right now? Um, that That's a big deal. You know, that that's... There's not that many glass blowing families in this country or even in the world. It's a, it's a small community. So regardless of how big it feels sometimes to us artists or maybe how small it feels to some people, it's, it's fragile, you know, you gotta take care of it, but yeah, like, I've just been seeing, like, this shop seem to be, like, I think it's part of their formula, like, even the fact that I'm even ba barely touching on it means that, like, they're doing it, like, right, like, their formula's working, but, like, they're trying to gain a following, and, like, they're trying to get interaction with their content through, like, this more, like, negative lane, which is, a really guaranteed path to having a lot of people look at stuff like 
anytime I'm like accidentally stumble upon it, like if I'm scrolling and it's just like a video of like something crazy, like, like, like I said, like someone getting a car accident or just something horrible that I would never look up. And I'm like, geez. And I look at the views and everything. I'm like, holy fuck. Like a lot of people have looked at this, even if not a lot of people liked it, there might be like millions of views. And it's just cause like, there might be something primal in our brain where we can't look away from like, Oh my God, what is happening? This is intense. Um, and in a few years we won't even know what's real because it's fucking AI. Shit's going to be crazy. But either way, um, just, just seeing like what they're doing, trying to use like, a, like this more negative lane, I guess, to generate like following or people interacting, like it works, but like, I don't know if it correlates to like building a good community of people who support the store or who can fall in love with specific glass artists and want to collect it and do that through your store. Like, I don't know if it like cultivates that. Like, I think it, it makes something else like, like world star hip hop. Like I wouldn't go there to buy a pipe. Like I'll go there to see some crazy shit, but I guess at the end of the day, like it's, if it's a numbers game, if enough eyes are looking that probably correlates to X amount of sales or people being like, I need something that's like a pipe or something. They're like, I know a shop. You know, gal Galaxy Bus. Like, oh, I really hope there's not a shop called Galaxy Bus, dude. And if there is, Galaxy Bus, I apologize. You guys fucking rule. I'll get you an order. I'll fucking hook you up. If there is a shop named Galaxy Bus. But I'm not trying to, like, cause any drama for anyone or cause any issues. So that's why I'm not going to, like, really be very specific about it. But, like, yeah, I went through some pretty wild shit, too. But at the end of the day, that's just... That's how it goes. And some people are really business about things and other people are artists. And that's kind of one of the tough things is in the glass scene, which I'm sure it's kind of in any scene where artists are selling their work to people is that like, there's people who are, they're able to be a friend when they're a friend and then turn off that friendship and be business when it's business time. And then there's people that like me, I'm like, I'm either friends or not. Like I don't have like this cutthroat, like, oh, that's just business. Like I'm not... I don't have that in me it's what it is so that's why i just try to like put my phone face down and just try not to talk to anyone because i'm like i'll say yes if i see a message i'll say yes because i'm too nice but then there's people like that are very business-like and they make moves and at the end of the day like i think a lot of artists are going to throw their emotions into it i sure did boy oh boy did i get emotional a few times from things that happened with certain shops or other artists and now I'm trying to just be much more just like almost like a third party watching the whole Bear Mountain thing happening and just be like, hey, like if someone does something shitty to you, like they're just doing it to whatever they think you are, or whatever they think Bear Mountain is or whatever they're like, no one actually knows like you like, honestly, the people who watch this podcast know me better than like the haters. If the haters watch the podcast, they probably would just leave me alone. And honestly, I don't really have that many haters, but it's good to have a few. Good to have a few, because if you don't have any, then it's like, what's going on? But like, you got to have people you annoy without even trying. Like, sometimes when I eat food, I have a clicky jaw, and that annoys my wife. And I'm not trying to annoy her. That's just like what my body does. It's a body noise. I have no control of body noises. Well, I mean, some body noises you have control over, but like, if I was moving my arm and it was clicking, like, that's how the arm moves. That's the sound the arm makes. Like, jaw was chewing, it clicks. Um, so sometimes you can be annoying without even trying, which I'm sure there's a fucking, after 10, 11 years of posting on Instagram, I'm sure I got a handful of people that just can't even stand the sound of me or seeing my face on fucking Instagram pop up and shit. I get it. Um, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's wild though. It's like I said, but rounding back around, it's crazy just seeing like people like realizing something about a specific shop or whatever that like I knew like years ago and I didn't want to make it a thing because I was like it's not my place I was like I'll just shut up like and work harder shut up and work harder that's it like I'm like didn't want to try I didn't want to feel like a victim I didn't want to like post videos but, like this is what happened to me like I just wanted to be like fuck it, I'll just work harder I'll figure it the fuck out and I'm really trying to stick with that because it's such a slippery slope so I can't even talk it's such a slippery slope feeling bad for yourself but yeah, maybe I'll try and take a dab on this nail. Every time I look at it, though, I just think about it. And I'm like, Phew, fuck, dude. I don't know, man. That shit was crazy. That was a lot. That Cavalier was just, like, so direct. I had someone the other day ask me, like, or leave a comment, be like, when's the last time you were sober? And I was like, damn, dude. 
like the last time I was sick, I didn't smoke weed or anything for like a week or more. And I was like, fine. What I did realize though, with not smoking weed for like over a week is that like, I'm not as stoked. Like what I mean is I'm happy, I clear headed, feel motivated. I feel like I, I still have purpose and stuff, but the stoked level is like a little less stoked. And that could be a dopamine response too. You know what I mean? That could be just like a brain chemistry thing from, you know, smoking a lot of weed for a lot of years. But either way, I don't notice much difference from it besides I'm not also not as motivated. I feel way more like lazy. Like if I'm like not smoking weed, I feel like I should just chill. Like why do anything, dude? <laughs> Dude, maybe that's something else. Maybe that's something else. I don't know. <laughs> but fuck, dude. Not not as stoked. I'll tell you what. Yeah. And like when I went to... I, there's been like a handful of times. Like time you go to a different country. Like I don't bring weed with me places. I don't go like looking for it. I'm just like, oh, I just don't smoke weed <laughs> until I get back to Colorado. <coughs> Honestly, if people offer me it, like I would smoke it like out of town. But for the most part, like... I'm, like, with my, like, kiddo and stuff. I'm not, like, out and about. I'm, like, if it's 7 o'clock, like, I'm inside. Like, I'm, like, inside the house. Like, it's fucking how it goes. Like, so I'm not even ever in situations where there would be weed when I'm out of town. Like, unless, like, we're at Animal Kingdom and maybe a security guy's, like, taking a dab for some reason. But even then, I'd be like, dude, I'm, I'm not getting in trouble with you. Bro, I don't even know you, dude. I can't do dabs at Animal Kingdom. That sounds sick, though, dude. Either way, either way. Don't know what my point was to any of that, but I had one. But that means I'm just going to take a dab now and just see what happens to me for science. Oh, yeah, just someone asked, when's the last time you were sober? I was like, oh, dude, when was? But it was pretty recent. But I'll tell you what, for me, I originally started smoking weed for uh, more like medical reasons. And then I fell in love with it in so many ways from like different subcultures of the art around it and the people and so for me like not only is it like help with what I need to help with but there's a lot of like nostalgia and memories and like fun feelings attached to the rituals and acts of smoking a little weed but it's pretty wild to smoke weed all day I don't know how long I'll do that my dad's been doing it forever and he's like 70 so like probably for a while like, but unless it stops working, because I have friends that, like, they don't smoke weed anymore, but they still come chill. But, like, weed works till it doesn't, you know? It's either working for you, and it's awesome, or you're fucking having panic attacks and can't be yourself anymore. And then you're like, oh, I guess I gotta stop smoking weed. I'm freaking out. That happens, too, you know? So, yeah, this shit, I can just set on the table. But I need to, like, get a dab ready and stuff. Sick. It looks like it shouldn't stand because the nail's hanging, like, so low. Because, like, you know, like, if the table is here, you know, it's, like, sitting like that on the table. I need to get, like, a, like, stand or something for this shit, like a block or something, just so it can be more dramatic and set the piece on it. All right, let me get a dab ready, then I'll warm this up because it's better to have your shit prepped. Damn, I'm a little scared, though. That's okay. You know, fear is where we discover, you know, really cool shit. What we're capable of, you know? More character building. Dude, when it's, like, cold outside, I immediately revert back to being, like, a construction worker slash dock worker. Like, as far as my attire goes. Dude, I found one of my old vests from the, the old construction days, and I haven't been able to take it off. I just wear it and I feel like I'm like, damn, I, I'm doing things right. I got this vest, dude. So I can cut wood and shit, man. What are we doing? Doing plumbing? Or I'm in a biker gang. I don't even know, dude. I'm just having fun with it, though. Just doing grown-up shit. All right. I could use one torch for this giant nail, I guess. So how I'm going to heat this up, it's going to take a second. But what I'm going to do first is... So I'm going to heat the bottom, just to start, just to get it primed. Then I'm going to go up and down the barrel a bunch, alright? Then I'm going to go back to the bottom, hit it one more time. 
up and down the barrel one more time and then back to the bottom finish on there and then I'll temp from the bottom because the bottom will be the last plate the first and last place that I hit with the torch so it should be the hottest point in theory and if I'm tempering the hottest point that will give me a nicer temps up here regardless no matter what you know what I'm saying so that's the theory we'll see how it works um, this is for research purposes only just like, oh my god, the shit I'm seeing on Instagram. Guys, I know, I see why Instagram is the most deleted app in 2023. Dude, shit is crazy, the shit they're showing on there. Dude, if you have a fake baby in the video, you could basically do anything. What I mean by that is, is like, I've seen this shit on podcasts, people have been bringing it up, and then it's, this happened. Have you ever talked about something, then all of a sudden you open your phone and see it? Like, you're talking about Toyota Tacomas, and then you open your phone 10 minutes later, and you're getting an ad for a Toyota Tacoma, and you're like, what the fuck? Could be coincidence. I don't know. Sometimes it's very specific. Like we were talking about these little magnets my daughter likes called specs, and they're these really cool like little magnet balls you like build stuff with whatever. And then I open my phone, I have like a specs, and I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Either way, listening to a podcast, we're talking about this new trend where like people are basically doing these fake breastfeeding videos where they're holding a fake baby and then just like exposing their upper half. Um, and these are people that don't have children. They're, they're not pregnant or ha and have not been pregnant. They're just holding a fake baby doll and yeah, and, and promoting their, their online website that you can subscribe to. And you know, hey, fucking power to you. But wild, the Instagram is totally down with that and people dying in videos, but some goofball with a p too big piece of quartz, you know, dude, that's the thing. I have people hit me up like, how are you not, like how are you able to post your stuff and not shadow ban? I'm like, Bro, I am the most shadow banned. I'm like, warnings on warnings on warnings. Like, every post, it's like, this is against community guidelines. I'm like, is it now? I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to delete stuff. I'm an old person. Have you seen my vest? Clearly, I've been here since the 90s. Like, it's, yeah. It's crazy. But ch change happens. It's just weird. It's like, you want to, in my head, I'm like, change is good, it's all part of everything, it's all natural, but I'm like, damn, dude, I barely got used to things when they were almost okay before they started changing again. And I'm like, even if you live in the moment, the moment is so quick and temporary that it's like, damn, dude, like, yeah, shit just happens quick. Even the good things and the bad things, which, which is cool, but, damn. I feel like I got, like, three more, maybe four more years of smoking on the internet before it's, like, weird, like, old dude smoking hash on the internet. But not old, old, like, middle old, like, like, 35, 36. And with how hard I work, I'll probably look 50. And if I get old enough, like, when you start looking, like, 60, 70, then it's cool again. People are like, whoa, an old person who's getting high. That's fucking sick, dude. That's cool again. But there's this middle period where it's not cool. Where it's like, why is this dude okay? Like, why is this dude still just like smoking hash every day? But what if you just like smoking hash? What if it, you know, what if you think it rules? What if it makes you way more stoked about playing Mario? What if coffee tastes way more fire? There's all these things, you know? I don't know, man. And also, too, if shit hits the fan and we can't smoke hash anymore and laws change and the world changes, I want to be able to make sure I really appreciated and enjoyed it while it was available, you know, the Terps. Because I think we're spoiled right now. I think this phenomenon with, like, Terps and, like, this level of technology with hash has maybe only been reached a couple times in human history. I mean, probably the last time they did it was when they built the pyramids. And probably before that... You know, it was when they were building, like, you know, something in Mauritania, you know, maybe something in Turkey, maybe Atlantis, you know, pre, pre-Diluvian, though, pre-flood. You know, pre-10,000 years ago. Then after that, in, like, 25,000 BC, it was probably the last golden age. They were probably making hash then, too. You know, we get close. I think when you start making the fire terps, you know you're, like, on the come-up of a golden age. But it's also a slippery slope where things could go sideways. Yeah. I don't know. What are you guys thinking about? <laughs> that's like, that's where I'm at. I listen to too much history and I'm not educated enough and smoke too much hash. So then I just kind of like make stuff make sense to me. 
for my world and what I like. <coughs> history is weird though, even though I love history and love listening to it, I always gotta remember that most history, at least most of the history we have nowadays, was written by the winners or the winners edited it, you know? Rarely do you have a bunch of books left over from the losers. Usually those get burnt and erased and just the winner's story is left over. So who knows how th certain things went? Who knows how battles went? See how long it takes to heat this? This is how we can have a history lesson right now. Now this one burnt spot right here where that drip of hash was that I was talking about. Oh, and it's smoking. That's all right. Let's well, be a little, little burnt hash flavoring probably. People are like, how do you clean those? It's like, dude, five gallon bucket of alcohol. Stick it in there real quick. That's pretty much how. Damn, there's some hash in here. It's all coming from the top, I bet. So it was probably a really thin layer at the top, then it dripped down and it got thick at the bottom. Damn, dude. All right, I'm about to just see at the bottom and just let it, let it be burnt. Fuck it. You guys don't care if the nail's crispy and clean, but yeah, you do want to see the pillar though. If it's too dirty, you won't see the pillar so good. Yeah, dude, and then there's just like, there's like so many things I want to address because I've seen like some new rumors popping up and stuff like, which are actually aren't new. There was one that popped up that was a rumor back in the day for a bit until I started showing my face in 2016 on the internets and doing dev videos and shit. But like that, like that, I was like making stuff in China or something like that. And then there was like this recent one. This guy brought up to me, and I addressed it because he like I saw it on my like Facebook or whatever. And uh, he was like, I saw this thread where it says that like you're like buying import glass now and stuff. <coughs> I was like, bro. I was like, if you follow my podcast or even my Instagram and just see like the amount of time and energy I've put into building this studio. And there's only like four of us blowing glass here. So we have this space that's equipped for like eight glass blowers. We don't have eight glass blowers though. So. Okay, this is hot now. We have four people blowing glass. I'm one of them. There's me and three other people blowing glass. And it's like, dude, we, <laughs> I, we, yeah, everything's fucking made in house. But the, the crazy thing is, is when you crush so hard that people assume you must be like, buying imports or something like that's fucking almost like a compliment too where it's like dude that's how hard we're going where it's like if i really actually showed people the numbers i'm like if you work every day like a normal person like it's not that many. i was making more pieces a few years ago when i wasn't sleeping i make like a third less glass now there's way less rbrs if you look at the drops there's like way like less of like the RBRs, there'll be like, where I used to drop 10 mil, ten to 12, 10 millimeter mini doubles every drop, now I drop four to five. Where I'd have like four to six micros, I only drop one to two. Where I'd have three to four, like 14 mil doubles, if anything, I'll only drop one. Like, so like, I'm, I'm actually dropping way less class. So that's, that's one of the things, but yeah. Overall, it's just interesting. Like, this guy was like, why don't you like bite the, like, if you see the thread, I was like, well, I haven't seen the thread, but usually I avoid fucking looking at shit like that if, like, it's about me. Because if it's about me, it's not really about me. It's just, like, whatever that person thought. And then I can't sit there and, like, argue with people all day. And it's, like, I'm not going to, like, change what that person thinks. If anything, I'll just, like, show how bad I am at spelling and look more stupid and shit, dude. I don't even know, bro. It's not even, like, I'm not even there anymore. I'm like, I'll just go fucking... Play hide and seek and shit with my kiddo, dude. I don't need to sit here for an hour and try to convince you that I'm right. I said, I'm so scared this is way hotter than it says. Well, it seems pretty good. Oh, shit, shit, I'm falling. No, we're all right, cool. Got pretty high there. Whoa. <coughs> you your old dad, though. <coughs> it's fun. It's just a good time. You know what I mean? No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Whoa. 
<coughs> oh, oh yeah. Hot. That's hot. Whatever. Whoa. <coughs> yeah, but for me, I try to avoid a lot of the... If, I, if there's, like, conversations being had about me or something, I try to just avoid it. It's kind of just, like, even though the the subject may be me, like, I'm not invited to that party. That's for that group of people to, like, enjoy their gossip, to enjoy their rumor, to enjoy feeling like they know something that someone doesn't, to have something special. And who am I to take that from them? They can have it. I'll just fucking smoke hash. And uh, drink more coffee. But that doesn't mean that there's not times where I'm like, God, I just want to jump in and say, you're wrong. What are you talking about? That literally, I don't even know that person. I've been in my garage. <laughs> like, <coughs> It's nothing like crazy, but it's all just like shit like around like just my relationships with certain shops or other glass artists or colleagues or whatever it's just just work stuff like who made what first or who made this i'm like dude i don't care you can tell everyone you did it first if you just leave me alone if you literally just like you can literally be invited to my birthday next year if you just say yeah dude we both agree you just we'll just be like you did it first that way we can all just move the fuck on because i don't even care who did what first Everyone else can have it. Literally, everyone can have what's on my plate of food as long as you leave me something a little sweet on there, dude. A little treat, dude. I don't give a fuck. Take it. I just want to be left the fuck alone. Because it's like... It's crazy, dude. Some of these kids out there are just real goofball, real knuckleheads, dude. Real knuckleheads. But... Stupid. It's stupid. Glass blower shit. No one's really serious. At least, at least that's how I see it. Like, I can't... I can't take anything too seriously, man. Like, real life shit is way more serious than, like, Instagram or glass drama. There's so much of it, though, right? I think the glass drama is kind of like how the glass scene's trying to restart the engines. You know what I mean? They're, like, using explosives right now to try and, like, get the ship running again, though. You know what I mean? Like, <coughs> you just see people mad at each other. Like, I could, do, I could definitely do, like, a podcast where I just pull like a real cat williams moment and just say a bunch of shit and put a bunch of people out on blast but i would never do something like that because to me i'm like dude i just don't care i'm like i don't at the end of the night like the less people i have that like are irritated with me the better i feel so whatever that looks like um yeah even if the person's like yeah dude i, I won or whatever sweet dude i'm so competitive so that's like so hard for me to do but like at the end of the day, like with enough hash, anything is possible. You can figure out how to just like be like, oh, I'm pissed. And then you smoke a bunch of hash and you're like, I don't even, what is happening right now? And then you listen to a cool documentary and you're like, damn, starfish are crazy. And like now two hours has gone by and you don't know why you were mad. And if you avoid your phone, you could probably go a full 24 hours before you realize who fucking irritated the piss out of you. And that's the magic of cannabis and hash. One of the many magics of it, really is conflict avoidance till emotions have calmed because acting in the moment is dangerous when you're really upset and you call someone immediately probably gonna be a bad time and the repercussions may fuck shit up forever like but if you wait and sleep on it and try to think about other people's perspectives smoke a bunch of hash eat a little treat that you like feel good for a minute watch something cool the next day then contact that person much better outcome Usually. Either way, I'm just telling you, hash helps with that stuff with me. But till when, right? To what end? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm looking at that big nail and I'm like, no, dude. But for real? Yes. But also no. Luckily, it's through a bigger piece. I feel like bigger pieces, honestly, are like extra smooth and you can take way bigger dabs on them. Maybe it's just more surface area space. Had a lot of people ask, with this giant nail, can you fit a Puffco um, proxy in it? And no, the proxy actually falls into it, and this nail's too big for the proxy. But what I was saying is I could make a ring, glass ring insert that the proxy fits into, and then the ring insert would fit into there. 
So you could cap the now. That would actually be safer too. That way the proxy's not touching the quartz now at all. Just in case you get a little warm. But if you just heat the barrel and stuff, dude, you could definitely throw a proxy up there and be taking a hit through the proxy while you're fucking hitting the nail. And you know that video's coming. I'm going to have a professional come in for it, though. We're going to bring Shaman in for that dab again. Because, you know, I can take dabs. You know, I can do, like, normal adult dabs. Um, but... Man, some of these guys out there, and I'm sure gals, I haven't met them, but a lot, definitely there's a few dudes I've met out there that can fucking. Yeah, I wonder. Like, I, I had this, like, whole idea in my head when I was watching the Shaman Smoke this one time where I was like, maybe, like, because I've heard, like, of, like, these theoretical, like, micro black holes that can happen where, like, there's basically, like, a space where matter can move through space time differently. And I wondered, because and this is another thing through like ancient religions, they talk about a tear in the veil where you can see basically it's a multidimensional tear. You can see through it, whatever. <clears throat> I wonder if inside Shaman's lungs, there may be something like that, like some sort of multidimensional tear or micro black hole that when the smoke goes in, it's actually going to some other place, like maybe like another dimension. And maybe in that dimension, when this happens, like there's some sort of entities or creatures there that like, observe this smoke or maybe this smoke like hits them and they feel like amazing and they they uh, they recognize that as something spiritual or holy you know what i mean so you ever smoke hash see that's what i mean i could have been so pissed at someone and then that happened and then i'm like i'm in a totally different place right now dude i don't even what are you talking about mad at what dude thinking about spiritual beings inside a teared veil in the universe to this guy's fucking lungs because where's all the smoke going Dude, I watched this guy smoke, like, a half ounce in 30 minutes. I was like, like, we're talking, like, three to four gram dabs back to back to back. I was like, god damn, dude, maybe more than a ounce. Yeah, definitely more than a half ounce, dude. Like, closer to three quarters of an ounce. Yeah. Wow, dude. That's crazy. It's crazy to watch, too, because just, like, seeing someone consume that much smoke, you're just, it's just confusing. It's just, like, doesn't make sense, you know? Like, like my primitive, like, almost, like, lizard brain or primate mind is just, like, what am I witnessing? How is that happening? How is he doing that? I don't know. But, yeah, either way, I'm going to get a proxy fitted into one, or a, yeah, a proxy fitted into, into this now so we can do some dabs on it. But I will take a dab on it um today here in a little bit but yeah fuck dude i hope i hope we can get this space next door and expand but if not that's okay too because we're, we're our space now is good but we just have so much shit and we're like shipping so much stuff we just and i want Cass to have an office here so she can be have her own space here and feel more part of it and i have to be sitting at the house by herself like now she can bring the dogs with her, and then it's, like, home again. You know what I mean? I fucking lit a candle today before Aisha got here, guys. I was like, this boy's about to get that candle. It's going to smell good in here. Or at least my idea of what might smell good. You know what I mean? Growing up, I had a lot of candles because my mom was making them for a gift shop. But then she, like, got some sort of allergic reaction to the scents of the way candles were being burnt. And she would get, like, basically sick from smelling candles. So we stopped burning them in the house. So now as an adult, sometimes I get a little candle, dude. Fucking light that up. Like, oh no, it smells like a fucking adult's here. Like, there's nothing more adult than having a candle lit, dude. I think that's pretty much... Like, if anyone judges... If you have someone that's like, man, this person doesn't take me seriously. Like, they gotta realize I'm a grown-up now. Like, before they come over wherever you are, it doesn't even matter. You could be outside somewhere, picnic bench, light a candle. And they'll go, oh, fuck, adult's here. Like, that's... What is that? Lavender? Vanilla? See, I like ones that smell like food, like ones that smell like maybe a maybe a little dessert, a little cinnamon, a little vanilla. Mm. Yeah, dude, candles are fire. I just like terps. I think that's the big thing. You know what I'm saying? Terps. All right, let's warm this up. I believe in me, and uh, I think I can do this, guys. Let me tell you. If we do get the space next door. Might even build out an official podcast room, which would be sick. Like something that's not the break room, which from what you guys are saying, 
Looks pretty sick. Better looking than what we were doing. But maybe we could have a view where it's like behind me, it's a glass window. And you can see the whole studio operating. But it's quiet, so the mic's not being affected. So I've got some ideas. Could be pretty cool. I also want to do more like just like with the shop here, which we are going to do some classes this year. Um, and I have the people to help me do it. I'm more just trying to figure out what to charge so that it's like fair and something people would actually be willing to do. So I'm trying to figure that out. But yeah, it'll be fun. Let me warm this. Wait, I haven't taken a dab on this, right? I tried to get out of that one. I was like, well, I took a dab on this, right, dude? I feel pretty stoned. The carb cap for this thing. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's absurd. It's like fucking 75 millimeter, like Dewar or Maria. It's like, it's huge. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy piece. All right. Yeah, it's been, dude, I just, I can't believe like how far, like we've like with this like little glass blowing company, like we've gone from the garage to here and the like things that have happened between like, you know, our world's been going through some crazy shit since 2020, especially, but it's been a wild, like it's been wild. I'm so stoked. We're still here. This shit's crazy. And even though our team's getting smaller, I think we're going to find a way to crush even harder. I think everyone's going to just step up and go, you know what? We got to blow, we got to blow the glass. Glass needs to be blown. We need all the color. We have some sick new colors coming out too. Like greasy glass was here at our studio the other day. I was kind of like, how is this happening? Cause we just got a big drop of greasy color here and we made a, like, they prepped a bunch of color. I made fucking, there's a bunch of the recent pieces are greasy color that I dropped that sold. And I have a bunch of new greasy color too. But he was here visiting like family or something. And like he's friends with um, Taffy who was on our last episode who's doing a residency here. And Taffy invited him down and I got to meet him. And I was like, dude, we got a bunch of your colors here. So Greasy was able to pick up and hold his color like that we turned into like tubing from Rod. And he got to see it all. And he was like, seemed pretty stoked on it. And um, it just made me go, okay, we're gonna like, we're about to get a lot of color from this dude. Like he's been in my shop. Like he's telling me what to order, what's good. Like he, like, I'm just, I was getting worried about color. You guys don't understand. Like there's, it's hard to get color right now. Like we've been like really fucking doing pretty wild shit to like be able to get the color combos that we have. Um, we've been doing magic over here, literally like making stuff of like, layering things that wouldn't usually be layered and creating colors that just are super fire but i was getting worried because I, I have not been able to get certain colors for a couple months now i don't know what the fuck is going on but changes i guess it's all part of it but yeah we after talking to greasy glass i feel a lot better though i'm like okay we're gonna get some fucking color we're gonna be all right that's scary. It's like someone who like makes stuff for a living. Like if you're like starting to realize like your materials are becoming difficult to source, like guys, there's so many changes happening in the world that it's like affecting like certain like supply chain stuff. Like it's going to be wild in the future. There's going to be certain colors that you guys have right now from drops that are like, you just can't get anymore. It's like, and there's, because there's like, some issue happening in this country or that country, they cannot get the mineral anymore to make that, or the mineral is no longer available to civilians. It's only military use now. They're the only ones that are allowed to get this mineral. They need all of it for whatever they're doing. You know, like there's so many scenarios where certain colors become unavailable and we have to do creative shit. Like I already told my wife, I was like, I really see there might be a period in the future where we might not even get color where everything's made from like old Sprite bottles and like glass bottles. And we only have certain colors and like the pieces have a certain look because they're made from Sprite bottles and stuff like that or old Coke bottles, like crazy shit like that. Like you never fucking know. It might be like fucking this era where people like there wasn't supplies, but we still found a way to make some cool fucking art, you know? So that's me trying to find, see the silver lining and, you know, obviously challenging things to try and figure out. But 
I'm grateful to have people around me. And even if like there's a couple goofballs here and there that totally just want to be friends with me, but you know, I don't want to you hurt my feelings, dude. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm dude. I'm the type of person that, like if I talk to any any of these people, even the people that like own these companies that are like being goofballs, we would probably find a way to be like super chill and enjoy a conversation. That's really at the end of the day, like how I look at most of this. Nothing's really that serious. It's just dumb glass blowing shit. But either way, it's it's on my mind right now because I have had to explain to a couple people recently that no, I'm. Here working crazy hours every day, making the pipes. Whoa, low temp, but flavor. You know what? You know, I was a little terp glutton this morning, I'll tell you what. Well, I can already tell too much hash right for today. Not for the day, but definitely before noon, too much. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. These nails are made for these giant pieces I make, but they're really fun to put on. Even the 3x2 halos, these are actually a pretty big fucking piece of glass. Like, these are about 14 inches tall. No, maybe not that big. Dude, I could be fucking 14 inches tall right now. I have no idea, dude. Honestly, like, if someone asked me sizes, like, what is what is size? Like, what is anything? That's where I'm at. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool spot to be on a Wednesday. Holy crap. Wow. Flavor, though. The reason I like these super tall nails is because there's so much surface area. And, like, it's, you're able to, if you do hit them low temp, you still get, like, a really awesome dab. Tons of flavor. Like, I have not gotten that that flavor on Dolly yet from Green Dot. Green Dot's been killing it with the hash. I wish I had some more of the hash. I smoked through all my hash sounds already, but I'll get some more soon. I got some, I got some, I'm making some cool shit for them. We got some juggernauts coming up. Gosh, there's so much happening. So much change, though. It's going to be weird. I think by, like, May, like, April's going to be kind of crazy. I think by May, though, we'll be at a point where we know exactly where we're trying to go and... You know, we'll have had a few weeks to get used to not having our boy here helping us do everything. It's going to be different. There's a couple people that have already sent resumes that we haven't even posted about it, but they're like, I want to come, like, help with stuff, whatever, like, shipping, like, whatever you need. And I'm like, sick. Like, we, we definitely need it. But, like, right now I feel like we're going to be in this period of, like, you know, I was thinking about getting, like, a three gun salute like but i can't for if we looked into it like the cost to have them shoot the guns the permit and then even if it's blank it's just a sound you know and then we wanted to have like these like trumpet players and do this whole ceremony with like a red carpet and we'll basically like you know he'll we'll have a bowl where he surrenders all the keys to the kingdom and like the car the credit cards and stuff and, and then we like do the gun salute and then you know, there's trumpets playing. It's a whole thing, but I think what we're end up going to do is we're going to just go to Shake Shack and get cheeseburgers. But either way, like it was. See what I mean? Like I have no time to be mad at someone. My brain is just too fucking all over the place. Keep it busy. Fuck people. Work on your shit. You know, people. Because if you ignore them too, because most people, even if they're being shitheads, most people are good people. They're just. Everyone has moments where they suck. So it's better to just, like, let them be shitty and figure out their shit. And eventually, like, if you people, like, people that you're, like, having grunge, like, I can't talk. But, you know, people you're having problems with. If you eventually see each other, I'm sure most of the time it'll be see eye to eye if it's just some dumb internet shit. Obviously, if it's real drama, fucking get them. But, like, if it's dumb internet shit, like, I'm sure most people can just be like, oh, dude, yeah, I misinterpreted that, sorry. Right? Yeah, I did too. You know, it's like... Fucking internet, dude. The internet's poison, but it's so important to everything we're doing. And it's like, ugh. It's crazy. Like, literally. Hmm. Yeah, I think, like, my grandmother called the TV the idiot box. And, like, I think the TV was just the tip of the iceberg to, like, what is now our ability with, like, working on augmented reality, virtual reality the internet, 
and everything related to AI. It's fucking all so crazy. It's going to be really, if, you know, I think it's going to be a really wild future. I've been saying to people lately, because I saw, I don't know if I talked about this, I don't think I've talked about this on the podcast at all, but I saw, I'll really quick, our last five minutes here, real quick. I saw a recent, like, uh, interview with, like, Elon Musk, and he was talking about, basically, because usually, you know, a lot of these people talk about dystopian future with the AI and robots take over and the end of the world, and it's like, yeah, that... That could happen eventually, but there's a there's a period where things are super sick. The utopian period happens for a little bit first. And guys, I think we're going to be one of the generations that get to actually have the... We might have like a mini dip where we all go, ooh, that's we don't like that. Then utopian era for pretty much maybe a generation or two. Then the robots take over. You know, so we have, we have to have a period. There's going to be a period first where... It's going to be super sick. Like I said, there might be a little dip. We might be going through the dips right now. But then the fire period, we get to enjoy it. Then possibly grandkids got to deal with some crazy Terminator or something. I don't even know what the fuck they're going to deal with, but it's going to be crazy. Like, oh, boy, oh, boy. Either way, such is life. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. There. So my point is, is there might be a positive outlook for all the AI and everything, too. You know, we don't know. You got to take it both ways. It could be super negative or super positive. And just be a witness. Just chill and just watch it. Be like, wow, it's pretty crazy. That What happened that way? Take another dab. Either way. Sick. <laughs> that's how I do it. That, that's my formula in coffee. I don't even know anymore. It's really still that, though. 11 years of it, though. Pretty nuts. I've learned so much. I've gotten so far with it. Some people might say, like, well, how far could you have gotten with good sleep and a healthy diet and no smoking weed? And I would say, dude, I would have fucking <sighs> too far, dude, the moon, bro. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, it, nah, not for me. Not good. That's too easy. I like discipline. I'm living life in hard mode. It's much more fun to just get your protein from caffeine and the milk in it. And then enjoy flavors from the concentrate. Low calorie, though. It's no calorie in those flavors, dude. Is there? There's not calories in terp size right now. See? I got a head shake. There's definitely not in terps and calories. I don't know. There's some famous golfer. I think his name might be John Daly. Does that name make sense to you? I don't know. But he said some crazy shit that he's like, nicotine and caffeine equals protein in my eyes. And it's just a picture of him smoking a cigarette and golfing, dude. And I was like, you know what? I don't smoke cigarettes, but I relate heavily to that. Where I'm like, you know, THC and caffeine equals protein. You know, I'm fit right now. Fully fit. Couldn't imagine how powerful I'd be, though, with a proper diet. I'm not ready to harness that level of power. That's what I keep telling my wife. I'm like, honey, I'm not ready to be that powerful yet. I need time. Because that that level of Evan is like, that's going to be intimidating. I'm scared. Like, I'm not, that's just my excuse to eat another bag of Doritos while I play Mario. I'm like, no, 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 no. This, this, this. We just started playing Mario again, though, and already beat it. Oh, I'm so quick. But now we can get back to work. But it was nice to have, like, a week of, like, at night, like, chilling and not just fucking working. That's, like, our version of vacation. All right, I'll get out of here. I'm talking too much. Episode 144. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we have a clear drop coming up. BMSglass.com. Sign up for that newsletter. And, um, yeah, then we're going to have, like, some collabs dropping, and then I'm going to drop some of my more expensive, fancier, more limited collectible work probably at the end of April, possibly beginning of May. Um, so be on the lookout for that, because I've had a lot of people be, like, stoked on the nanos, but they're like, where's, like, the full color, like, bigger, like, technical, like, more expensive stuff? And I'm like, bro, I'm going to make that expensive stuff. I'm going to make some expensive stuff. I, can, I got it. Like, there's a few projects in color pieces that i've been wanting to make but trying to wait till like it seemed like buyers were like ready for something of that caliber which seems like a couple people are so i'm gonna get into that and uh i'm excited to share some of these new pieces and collaborative works with you guys have a great day thanks everybody wow i'm way too stoned though man i'll tell you what i think i don't even know what i said today i said it wrong i said it too much uh but that's okay i tried trying is all that matters anyone that gets mad at me i'll just look at them and go i tried hey i tried love you